So the first thing you'll find is your M trigger unit itself. And that is the main hardware and electronic component of the system. You can see the serial number on the back, which we'll get into later how that relates to Bluetooth. You'll also find a charger for your M trigger device in this box. That is a micro USB standard charger. And that is because the unit itself is rechargeable via the port on the side here. Next, you'll find your electric connector cables. Those are both four feet long and attached to two electrodes each and then plug into the M trigger device. Next, you'll find your M trigger custom sensing electrodes. And then finally, you'll find your mobile device stand. We're actually using one of these right here to prop up the iPad. You simply pop it open for easier viewing of the mobile interface. And that's all you need to get going. So we've got our M trigger hardware. This is our amplifier. And we've got our electrodes ready to go as well. The first thing we're always going to do is hit connect in the upper right hand corner, power on our M trigger, and tap to connect. This is going to bring us to a calibration screen, which is going to ensure that we're seeing accurate real time data. While that timer runs, we're going to set our electrodes up. So today, all I'm going to do is place these on my wrist extensors. They are two by two electrodes, but you can fold or cut them down if you are targeting a smaller muscle. We'll want to place them, place them parallel to the muscle fibers, about a finger's width apart, simply not touching. All we're looking at is the activity between these two electrodes. For today's setup, I'm going to do both of my wrist extensors, in both my right and my left arms. You can see that timer has run out, so we are ready to go. There are a few settings on this page, but you can access all of those settings and resources in the settings page of the app as well. I've got my right arm plugged into channel two. Channel one is on the top and that is my left arm. And that's all we've got in terms of hardware setup. Now let's review some basic settings. The first thing we'll select is whether we're using single or dual channel mode. You just saw setup for dual channel, but if you're only monitoring one muscle, you'll toggle to single channel mode. Your PT should discuss channel mode, electrode setup, and exercises with you in the clinic, as these will be custom to your training program. Set match goals to on. Next, we'll set our max contraction goal. Your PT should also let you know what your goal setting should be, but if you haven't received specific instructions for your goal setting, don't worry, just set it to 1000 microvolts. You can use the slider bar or tap to type in an exact goal. Note that in single channel mode, you cannot change the goal setting for channel two. If in dual channel mode, keep match goals set to on, meaning that the goal settings for both channels will move together. As for time settings, you'll also discuss this with your PT in relation to your specific home exercise program. If you don't have instructions for time settings or need to reset to default, enter the total time at 5 minutes, contract time of 0 minutes 10 seconds, and relax time of 0 minutes and 10 seconds. You may turn audio feedback on or off depending on your preference. Audio feedback will cue you on when to contract, when to relax, and whether your channel 1 activation has reached your goal. You can also discuss the use of audio with your PT. Finally, you can check your M-Trigger device's battery level and charge it with the supplied USB wall charger if needed. There are additional resources linked at the bottom of the settings page, including our electrode placement guide and more in-depth training videos. Save your settings before tapping back or the M-Trigger logo to return to the home screen and start your exercise session. Now, once we're calibrated, you can see that all of the modules of the app are available and we'll head right into train. Here you can see that my left arm is on channel one and my right arm is on channel two. My goal is set around a thousand microvolts, which is a great place to start and then make adjustments if needed. I can also hit my play button. We'll always start in a relax period and then contract period will be queued. and we've completed that session. That's all for the basics. 
Stay tuned for part two, where we'll review our track module, games, and the neuromuscular deficit test.